And now to our lab. Whoa! Where we do incredible experiments. Oh, looks disgusting. To show you how your body works. So watch this. Just don't try anything you see here at home. Vomit. What makes our bodies do it and why? Well, we're doctors and we can tell you. Can I get it now? Hang on. Being sick your body's mechanism for getting rid of stuff it doesn't want, often because there's a bad bacteria or virus in your stomach. So that's the simple answer to why we puke, although it's a bit more complicated. Now can I get it? Hang on. But what's vomit actually made of? And what goes on inside our bodies to prepare us for this massive event? Now can I get it? Oh, go on then. Let's eat Chris's lunch. This is my sick. Oh, Chris, that's awful. Don't worry, I'm not ill. There is still food in there. That's because when you're sick from your stomach, it's not choosy. You bring up everything to try and get rid of that bad bacteria or virus. So what your stomach ejects is all the food and drink you've taken in, in one go. But there is another ingredient in vomit. Azanda, I want you to close your eyes and imagine you're in a really posh Italian restaurant. Now, don't you think my vomit smells a bit like cheese? cheese. And that's because when food is broken down in your stomach, it makes butyric acid. The acid is produced by bacteria as it eats away at your food, and the same bacterial process occurs as cheese ages. Which is why older cheeses like Parmesan smell a little bit like vomit. Just as well Chris hadn't been eating Parmesan or his vomit would smell much worse. Enough already. Now, I've got something even better than a tub of my own vomit. Apart from it being really unpleasant when you're sick, there are real dangers of your vomit spreading a virus. And it can lead to an epidemic, just like the winter vomiting bug, norovirus. But how can vomit spread viruses? This is Larry. He's a robot, but he's not just any old robot, he's a vomiting robot. Larry's been specially designed to show us how the virus can spread to other people when we vomit. So, I've given Larry a big drink and he's going to vomit into this container. If he's ill, shouldn't he just stick to dry toast or something? Zond! Ready to puke in three, two, one! <laughs> that was really powerful. It's amazing. That might look like a much more powerful puke than a human would do, but in fact there are things like norovirus that do make you projectile vomit. It's lucky we had such a big container. I think we've caught it all. Well, we can check that, Zahn, because I put a fluorescent dye in the liquid that I made Larry drink. Do you think that's what made him sick? Hmm. No, I think turning the knob made him sick. He's a robot, Zand. So, I'm going to go and turn on the ultraviolet lights and we'll see if any of the splashes of vomit escaped. So, there's loads in the container. You can see it really well. You look outside the container, see how much there is here. Yeah, there's loads. And then over here where I am, there's even more. These are big, big drops. Some of them are more than two metres away from Larry. Look, Zand, it's even on you. Oh, yeah. It's all over me. It's just amazing how much mess he's made. Well, this is exactly why Larry was invented, to show just how far drops of vomit can spread. And remember, each one of these splashes has enough virus in it to make you seriously ill. So remember, if you're being sick yourself or you're looking after someone who's sick, it's really important to wash the whole area really carefully and wash your hands with soap and water to stop spreading the virus on. But it's not all bad news. Vomiting can sometimes be your way of getting rid of things that are harmful. This never would have happened if we'd just given him dry toast. 